Customer experiences and perceptions are of great importance to Toyo Corporation. We recently spoke to a customer that uses the new Keysight EMI receiver PXE and EMI software EPX solution in their design and test work. When performing EMI measurements, we evaluate the EUT by combining various operations. Often, this can be time-consuming. In some situations, noise appears only with a certain combination of operations and not with others. As a result, such measurements can be challenging to perform on an EUT, such as one of our copiers. Intermittent noise often appears only at certain times. In our product development workflows, when design and test engineers take EMI measurements, the results can vary greatly depending on the skills of the engineer. Noise that is found by an experienced engineer may not be found by a less skilled one. When such noise exists, we may not be able to identify it until late in the product development cycle. This can result in project delays and cause other issues. Good question. What surprised me most is the new time domain scan feature called Accelerated Time Domain Scan. Accelerated Time Domain Scan allows us to use the peak, QP, and average detectors in a wide bandwidth of 350 MHz all at the same time. In the past, we could not easily see the QP response in such a wide bandwidth using the traditional time domain scan. Hence, the new Accelerated Time Domain Scan is a big, pleasant, and welcome surprise to me. I also thought the usability had significantly improved through the touch panel screen and the easy to understand menu. Using the real-time scan, we're now able to minimize the risk that we'll miss intermittent noise when performing measurements. This is the biggest impact. We can also understand the spectrum's characteristics while analyzing the noise, as the data can be shown in time domain. As I mentioned earlier, we can use the peak QP and average detectors all at the same time. And the responses to these detectors make it easier to identify noise. The impressions I have with the EPX software. Now, first of all, you can save all the data obtained during the real-time scan. And using the data in the post-measurement analysis, we can check the temporal changes and cycle in which noise appears. The data is provided with high accuracy and in-time domain. The software will help us identify noise so we can quickly address its source. We have been comparing the results obtained using the software's automatic measurement feature and from our test engineers. We found so far that there is no significant difference. We'll still need to confirm this analysis, but I think we'll be using this automated measurement feature much more often in the future when EMI measurements need to be taken during the design phase. I think this solution helps us accelerate time to market. It's not only helpful with EMI measurements taken during the QA process, but also during the product development phase. It will save us time when design engineers must address the source of unwanted noise. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up and please share it with someone that may also find it useful. Have a great day and thanks again.